Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, got a 7.3 power stroke in here, uh, 1999. Kind of got a, a rough idle, um, hard starting issue. Um, but along along with that, it was kind of making kind of a, a loud knocking sound um, more towards the right passenger side of the engine, kind of towards the back um, with no visible signs outside it anywhere to um you know show that um you know that cylinder obviously was was not firing um <clears throat> at all um based on uh, exhaust temperatures uh, just pointing an infrared gun at the exhaust manifold on the back it um it was a lot colder than all the rest of them um <clears throat> the rest of the you know stuff's going on here we started uh Go ahead and pull the valve covers off and everything like that. I just wanted to, um, you know, share what I found. So I'll get a different camera view and we'll go have a look at that. Okay, so we've got the valve cover off there, and we've got all the, the uh, valve cover gasket. We unhooked all the wiring harnesses off, and in here. Hope this is going to show up. Let's look at this side first. But you see, oh come on. Right there is your glow plug. <clears throat> this is what uh, one looks like when it's out. So that wiring harness plugs on the top of there. You got a 10 millimeter hex head that gets that out of there and there's your actual glow plug tip there. Um, so hopefully I can uh, demonstrate this good enough to show you what is going on here that I've actually never never seen before and we're gonna reach in here and I've not done anything with this glow plug I just saw that it was loose see how it's loose like that and the whole innards come out I'll show you a better picture of this and that that part is still in there with the hex head and everything like that. This is one thing I've never seen before on one of these. So, um, what I'm going to do, okay, so I'm going to get this socket in here and it's fit over the, the glow plug. And uh, it's but it's loose. We're just hoping that it'll come out. One thing the slight's being in our way, plus making a blinding view to not show what's going on. Okay, so we got that screwed out of there. Now I see it did come, it came up, so I got lucky on that part, but we're going to have to be super careful not to drop this because it's probably, it's a lot smaller than it is now, but this might be kind of hard to see on the camera as I do this, and I may have to, well, I'm going to have to pause it both hands um, but this is what essentially what I'm doing I'm reaching in there and getting that out of there actually you know what get a different pair of uh, pliers I just would like you to be able to see as best best as possible and we still may not have it all the way let it out I guess not Yeah, she's got to come out now. Twist it a little bit farther. There we go. And there's the rest of it. I'll get you guys better, better view of everything there. All right, so we got this thing out of here. This is how it's supposed to look. Now, my very first thing I did was I pulled on the... Um, 
wiring you know plug that plugs on the back of here and this just came out up like this and then as I pulled it it eventually kind of dropped in place there and this part was loose this part was loose so what was going on here I don't know why this came apart out of here unless it's just the fact that this was loose and the vibrations and all that but the fact that this part was loose is it was leaking compression past right past through here because let me grab another used one that came out of the next cylinder over <clears throat> and all the rest of them look like this but see how clean and shiny this part is right here it really kind of seats in somewhere right in this this focus Kind of seats in focus, you know, seats in right there, more or less. Um, but with it being loose and partially up, it can't seat correctly, and the compression can leak out of here. And I, I'm almost 90% sure that that's the exact noise we were hearing, and why that cylinder was pretty much dead. And you can see that the compression, you know, leaked past here because it's got where it's, you know, started, the combustion started happening out back here. I'm sure it was firing a little bit. It just wasn't contributing very much and then maybe eventually didn't fire at all. So anyway, I just wanted to um, show that. I've never, never seen this before. I've worked on lots of these. And um, I don't know if this is any significance about, you know, what's, what's going on with this, but um, yeah, that's what it should look like. And you know, I don't know if I can pull this. Yeah, see, that's pretty hard to pull out. Yeah, it doesn't want to come out, so I don't know. Interesting. If anybody's ever seen that before, but looking like we found our loss of compression, hopefully, that noise we were hearing. And uh, that should fix it. Thanks for watching.